I'm Damon Scotting and this is how to spot the Perseid Meteor Shower. The Perseid Meteor Shower is by far the best meteor shower of the year. Not only does it have the highest rate of meteors per hour, it also takes place in a summer here in the Northern Hemisphere. Which means there are plenty of warm nights that you can spend looking up at the night sky. Meteor showers occur when our planet passes through the trailing debris of a comet. The Perseid Meteor Shower occurs because our planet is passing through the leftover debris from Comet Swift Tuttle which, after passing very close to the sun, burnt up and left fragments of ice and rock. Now, as we orbit through it, they light up our night sky in what is one of the greatest spectacles you can see with the naked eye. Now, meteors are a bit like buses, in the sense that they don't come along once every 10, 15 minutes. Instead, they all come along in one go, and then there's nothing for an hour or so. And what I mean by that is that the meteoroids in space are in small, dense collections. So when the Earth passes through them, you may see several meteors in the space of 10 minutes. But it also means you won't see any more for a long period of time. So if you're sat outside looking up and haven't seen anything for a long period, don't lose interest, don't lose patience, because the chances are you're about to pass through a very large, dense collection of meteors and they are going to light up the night sky and make it all worthwhile. When you step out into your garden and look up at a night sky, you may only notice 20 or 30 stars to start with. And this is because you've gone from a bright, illuminated area to somewhere where it is very dark. So your eyes aren't calibrated yet. So what you'll need to do is allow 20 to 30 minutes for your eyes to adjust. And when they do, you'll be able to see thousands of stars and potentially a lot more meteors. The key to getting the most out of a meteor shower is patience. You have to allow time for things to come. You have to allow time for your eyes to adjust and you have to allow time for the meteors to occur. They're not all gonna come in one big go. They're gonna occur over the night itself. And although there may be 40 or 50 an hour, that doesn't mean there's gonna be one every minute or a minute and a half. There may be 10 in the space of a minute, and there may be none for 20 minutes. It's very hard to predict, but again, the key is patience. And if you have patience, then it's gonna be a very good night. The Perseid meteor shower originates from the constellation of Perseus. And you can find it in the night sky by looking up for the double cluster. And if you still can't find that, then look for the W constellation that is Cassiopeia. Just a bit further to the left, that is where you need to look to truly appreciate one of the best meteor showers of the year. Now one of the best things about meteor showers is you don't need any special tools to really appreciate it. You don't need a big telescope, you don't need any fancy binoculars, you don't even need a camera. In fact, all you really need is your own two eyes. It's one of the greatest shows in the universe and it doesn't cost a penny to step outside and look up. There's no admission fee, there's no rental fee, it's completely free. Just look up, that's all you gotta do. And you can marvel at one of the wonders of our universe. So what's the difference between a meteoroid, a meteor, and a meteorite? Well, it's really simple. A meteoroid is a small piece of debris outside our atmosphere. Whereas a meteor is something that is passing through the atmosphere. And a meteorite is something that has landed on our planet. So now all that's left to do is to just sit back. All right, so I just looked back at that take 
just then to make sure everything was okay, the sound quality was all right, and I noticed there was a meteor that shot past just there. Now it's not clear to see it right now because the camera settings are made and adjusted so that you can see me in focus and that the right lighting is done, but just there is the constellation of Perseus. That's where you'll need to look to truly appreciate the Perseid meteor shower, and that's where a meteor just flew past. So now all that's left to do is to just sit back and look up. But whilst I'm doing that, I'm gonna set my camera up to have the exact settings that match the human eyesight. So you can see exactly what I'm seeing throughout the night. And hopefully, if I do see any bright meteors, they'll be captured on camera. And you too can witness them. So if come the peak of the Perseid meteor shower, it is cloudy, where you are, or for some of a reason you can't witness it, then at least I can share with you what I've seen. The Perseid meteor shower peaks between the 12th and 14th of August. So make sure you're out just after midnight to truly appreciate the best meteor shower of the year. <laughs>